As a maxed player in Clash of Clans, I will return to the start of the game to test my skills versus the world's best Town Hall 2. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Juno Sloth. This is my fully maxed base, but playing at Town Hall 14 is completely different to the early stages of the game. Welcome, Sheaf. We have been waiting for you. First things first, we have to complete the tutorial before we can even get to Town Hall 2, obviously. What is this? Another puny human. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, let's take those goblins down. Set up a cannon to defend the village. Place the cannon in the village. We must protect the town hall. Can we place it anywhere? Looks like we can. Don't they come in from the top of the map? Let's place it here to surprise them. Sheep, you can spend some gems to speed things up. Okay, villager. I can also wait and just let the timer tick out. Save on to my gems. Bring it on. Here they come. Let's see how fast we can take them out. Defense targeting goblins. That was a close call. Do you think so? The village is built on a ley line. That is why when you are attacked and logged back in, your village repairs itself. The wizards from Ivory Tower are here to help us. Now, previously, when I first started Clash of Clans, you could actually save on to these wizards, but they've changed that. So we might as well just use them. It would have been nice to save on to the wizards for the 1v1 Town Hall 2 at the end of the video, because I'll be honest, I might have needed them. Nice going. Now we need to get this village into fighting shape. Hiring a second builder. So here we go, 250 gems. You can pump elixir from underground. Let's try it. Yep, I know all of this villager. And again, my advice to to you if you are just starting out is actually to save on to those gems you always want to try and save your gems for the builders the collector can only store a small amount of elixir yes i very well know that let's get the storage built as well it's only 10 seconds it's not like town hall 14 where you have two weeks for an upgrade okay let's get the barracks built so let's train some troops we obviously only have the barbarians to begin with it is only one gem or you have to wait seven minutes. So I would recommend the one gem in that scenario. Let's kick some green butts. Oh, the single player. This is probably a good area for me to practice and sharpen my skills at this lower level. Um, do we need all of the barbarians to the arch tower? I don't think so. Let's circle them around the base. There we go. I guess the most strategical thing would have been to just target the one defense. I was more than confident they had enough. That was a great battle, but how should you be known in history? <laughs> oh man, I always do this. Hmm. You're only allowed a certain amount of characters as well, aren't you? But let's try Max Town Hall 14 versus Town Hall 2. It works. Let's go. That is exactly what we are doing. Maybe a name like that might psychologically get into our opponent's head as well. Even though it is all friendly fun, with the gold we took from the goblins, we can now afford to upgrade our town hall. We unlocked the archer tower and the walls. Completely didn't realize we didn't have them at town hall one, and it is 10 seconds to upgrade. I like that. Good job, we can now build new buildings from the shop thanks to the town hall upgrade. So we have the builder suggestion at the top. I'm pretty sure I can navigate my way around from this stage. And we also have a couple of extra rewards in the free season pass that it gives you at the start of the game now. But what I think we should do... Oh, thank you, villager. Good luck. You've got this. I hope I do. I might need it for that 1v1. But let's build all of the new buildings. A barracks will mean we can train our army even quicker. I started making all of the new buildings because that's what I recommend when you get to a new town hall level. Is that all we get? One extra cannon, the archer tower, and 25 wall pieces. It's not going to be easy to defend at this level, let me tell you that. Level two, quite fitting, especially since I will be remaining a Town Hall 2 on this account. Whilst the archer tower is building, I do want to mention the clan castle. Normally, it is 10,000 gold to rebuild the clan castle, which as a Town Hall 2, you cannot get. You do not have the storages 
at this amount. There are two ways you can get around this. The first is if we have a hammer jam event prior to a new town hall level. But the second way and the method I will be using is within the special offers of the shop. Sometimes we get offers with gold. Whenever you purchase offers with real money, it overstacks your storages and then you can build the clan castle. So that is how you get a clan castle as a town hall too. First thing we need to do is rearrange our layout. I do like that Clash of Clans have pushed all of the obstacles to the outside of the base now. Just makes it much easier to do this. Finding a layout was fortunately pretty easy. I recently released my best bases for every town hall level video. And although we don't have the village editor at this level, it didn't take very long. That's one of the beauties of town hall two versus town hall 14. Fantastic, I have my layout ready to defend. I obviously just need to upgrade everything as much as I can. And I've already made a rookie mistake. I should have had my builders working so long as I actually had the resources to do so, so that my base was upgrading faster. And I also should have had some troops training so that I could actually go out and do some raids. You should know this as a maxed player. I need to be able to farm to get my resources and practice at this level. Let's get the builder working again. Now, whilst the gold storage is not going to defend my village, you can see the hit points are increased. So that is why I need to make sure that it is indeed the maximum level. And that is the case for every building. Eight barbarians. Do you think that is enough for Goblin Outpost? I think I want to practice with some of the lower level Goblin maps first. So let's use four barbarians to each cannon. Is it enough? Let's just do one in case there's any traps. Perfect. Come on, barbarians. Oh no, I should have waited. They're going down fast. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Come on. One barbarian versus the cannon. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. One HP. Let's stop wasting resources and let's wait of my full army to be trained next time. We can upgrade the army camp at Town Hall 2. Wow, that gives us an extra 10 troop capacity, which is huge. We can also get the gold mine to level four. We should definitely try and unlock the archer because that obviously gives us more options when it comes to the strategies. But let's retake this. We know that the barbarians nearly got through, so let's deploy a big chunk of them. But we really don't need to deploy more than that because they nearly got it with only eight barbarians. There we go, cannons go down. There is no timer on the goblin map, so let's Allow the Barbarians to finish this off. You forget how weak the troops are at this level. But you've got this, my friends. Let's go and let's get that builder working yet again. This is a theme in Clash of Clans. Do not allow your builders to have any vacation. Whilst revisiting the Goblin maps was fun, spamming Barbarians will not get us the victory in the 1v1. So at this stage, it was still managing our upgrades. This is the problem I have with Town Hall 2 already, is my storages are capped off. I've literally done three Goblin maps and my builders need to keep going. We need them to be faster. Is there a builder portion in this thing? Oh, I know I've only got two builders, but a builder portion would be super helpful. 4,600 points. I think we can give up on that one. I can just bull rush these maps with the barbarians. So there's actually gaps on the inside of the base. The goblin maps, they can be pretty trolly. As you can see, I can't target the barbarians to the cannons. Oh no, this is where we need archers. This might be where we've met our match. Let's spam the barbarians in. We've got a couple onto the cannon at the top. Cannon at the bottom, still not going down. Is it enough? We've got 30 barbarians. Oh, I shouldn't even be doing this because my storages are going to cap off. Honestly, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to use it as practice and see if I can push down the goblin maps a little bit further so that we are ready for the Town Hall 2 1v1. I think we're going to need more than just goblin maps though. I will have to do some multiplayer attacks and assure this base is maxed and I am ready to go. 
I found it quite funny how far the Barbarian got us down the Goblin mats, but it really wasn't too long before we met our match and started failing. I was able to manage my builders extremely well at Town Hall 2, since the upgrades take a matter of seconds. As soon as one finished, I got the builder working again. This means I was making very good progress, but I was excited to unlock some more troops so we could start testing strategies and find out what would be best. It is time to unlock the Archer. Obviously, the mass barbarians are only getting me so far, and the ranged troops are just what we need. I pressed ahead though, so we could just unlock all of the troops at Town Hall 2. And I just have the barracks left to upgrade again. 10 minutes, this gives us the giant. I'm pretty sure we can get the goblin at this level as well, but we should train up some of the... Oh my goodness! <laughs> Well, in my five biggest mistakes, all noobs making Clash of Clans, I mentioned this. Do not upgrade all of your barracks at the same time, because then you cannot cook any troops. Oh, that's what happens when a maxed player returns to this level of the game. Okay, I guess we will wait the 10 minutes. I tell you what, I do not miss the loot at this level. 500, 800, oh my goodness, 500. I'm pretty sure I have found raids where I've capped out my entire storage in one go. Imagine if you could do that at Town Hall 14. 20,000 gold, I told you. Okay, now we do need to be careful of clan castle troops. This is a Town Hall 4, I think. There is definitely a lot of loot in the storages because they are highly upgraded. These gold mines look very low level. I think they're even level one. So whilst they are full, they will not be housing very much. It's probably wise to try and pick off the mortar, maybe even the cannon first, to reduce the damage across to this area. Should have maybe picked off the mortar first and then the cannon, because I've just lost a lot of barbarians. So that is lesson number one for me as a maxed player down here. Let's spread the barbarians. That cannon locks on. Wow. So already I need to be careful of the mortars and the splash damage. I need to be careful on the range of the defenses. The perception of the base is so much different than a higher level. Like, look at this archer tower is actually picking off my barbarians and I did not even realize. Could we even three star this? Oh, I've only got two barbarians. No, the troops are so weak at this level. Had I have actually gone direct for the defenses, I would have got this, I think. You can sit and wait of the troops to finish, or... Okay, I'm bored. Let's force close the app. Let's load it back up and see if they got that town hall. That's a nice little trick for you, by the way. If you have deployed everything, you can see the elixir and gold is capped off. 13 trophies! We gained our first trophies. 47%, they actually did not get the town hall, but the attack plays itself in the background. We have three minutes before we can cook up the archers and the barracks are finished, and we can't upgrade the walls yet either because we need those builders. Always nice to log back into Clash of Clans and see this screen. Let's get the walls upgraded. We're nearly there already. Can we upgrade the barracks? We can! Unlock the goblin! We might as well be Begin those upgrades, but I do want to try out the Barch attack first, which is an even split of barbarians and archers. I logged back in the next day only to find that I had been three starred for minus one trophy. Heartbroken. Actually, the one below was minus one trophy, but he only used clan castle troops. Can we watch this? What exactly did he do? Just send them right to, oh, the cannon? He should have sent them to the archer tower first, but with level four balloons, it's really not going to make much of a difference. That is good to know for Town Hall 2 strategy though. How many of these walls could I get upgraded? 8,000. We need three more wall pieces. Oh, and we've got the gold. <laughs> so we are, we have one wall hiding, of course. There it is, the final wall piece, maxed 
Town Hall 2. Obviously, we need to wait of an offer for the clan castle, but let's get practicing with the barbarians and archers. Having a ranged troop in that of an archer at Town Hall 2 was massive. I felt like I could be quite strategical with the defenses and use the archers wisely to pick off buildings as well. It was really trying to figure out how many archers was the optimal number for the strategy because in combination with the barbarians, I was starting to fail. Let's use the Barbarians and Archers in multiplayer then. See if we have a little bit more success. And we should probably try and find a somewhat maxed Town Hall 2. Here we go. Didn't take too long. The layout is definitely questionable when we attack in the 1v1. I think it will be different to this, but I know for a fact it is all about hitting the major defenses first for any Clash of Clans attack. No different at Town Hall 2. So we really need to try and get in towards that Archer Tower. Since there's no mortar, we can really push in quite heavy. I'm trying to think, do we have a small bomb? I have my base maxed and I can't think. I don't think we do, which means we could literally push everything into this. So we should be pretty good for this right side cannon. But the one on the left, it has wiped out our troops. Oh, no, no. Maybe we do need to mix in some giants in order to give better tanking than the barbarians. Imagine if we put one giant either side there. I think that would have been way better than a stack of barbarians. Town hall down. We've still got a pack of them. Oh, but they're going down quick. Look at the range of the cannon. What? That archer is well out of range. What is this? A super powered cannon? Maybe it's just because it's Town Hall 2. Everything looks so small, but it seems like the range should not have been that far. <laughs> oh gosh, I was making fun of the layout and yet it worked. More practice required. I tested things out with the giant rather than the barbarian. Going back to the goblin maps, I also wanted to mix in some goblins to clean up buildings faster, but I was still struggling. We need to rely on those air troops now. If only I could rebuild the clan castle. Give me an offer within the shop. I was trying to refine the strategy in multiplayer though, so that we were actually attacking bases similar in strength to what we would be. Whilst trying to find max bases for Town Hall 2 in multiplayer has been a little bit of a nightmare. I have still been finding the best success with just giants and archers. I feel like in comparison to when we used the barbarians and archers, the giants last longer. Plus, we only need to deploy two of them so I can get the archers to the defenses faster. And whilst the goblins are great for taking down the resource collectors, it's really about getting the archer tower and the two cannons ASAP. We've got three minutes to then clean up the rest of the base. I don't need to worry about goblins taking down these buildings faster. It's all about prioritizing those buildings. What I haven't been facing is clan castle troops. So it's really whether balloons or the baby dragon is better because that's basically all I can fit. And in my opinion, if there is a baby dragon in the clan castle, if that's what he uses to defend, the balloons are harder. I would have to commit all of my archers to defend. So surely the baby dragon could be the best option. This is a tactic that I hadn't really thought of in terms of putting the builder huts in the corner. But to be honest, I think he will just take one archer if I do that to pick them off. So I don't think I have to worry about builder huts in the corner. It's all about <laughs> trying to protect my defenses. Yes, if we take a look at the hit points, 45 for a barbarian. A giant is five times the housing space but 300 hit points, so over six times the hit points. And since we don't have to worry about spring traps at Town Hall 2, the Giants is definitely the better option. It was comical watching either the balloons or the baby dragon wipe out the goblin maps. There isn't a timer, so I could sit around, have a drink of coffee, get up and go to the bathroom. It was too easy. I literally didn't need to deploy any other troops, but I do have an opinion on which one is going to be best. I love that we are a Town Hall 2 and yet it says Town Hall 5 recommended. Maybe that is something we do in the future. Figure out exactly how far we can get down the goblin maps as a Town Hall 2. 
but I think the strategy is going to be with the baby dragon for a couple of different reasons. It is so much faster than the balloons. Maybe I need to get a few more archers onto that air defense, protect this baby dragon, come on! Oh my goodness! So I think the baby dragon is the best defending and attacking CC because we are going to have to be conscious on time and three-starring as fast as possible. It was time for the 1v1 battle. Matthew is currently the world's best Town Hall 2 in the Crystal League. He has the highest amount of trophies out of anybody in the world. I waited for a couple of days, but there were no offers in the shop for me to rebuild the clan castle. So I decided to join Matthew's clan on one of my other Town Hall 2 accounts, but he said the Town Hall 2 offers are extremely rare. And I actually do already have five Town Hall 2 accounts that I intend to take into the 1 vs 5 war series. Be sure to subscribe in order to see that. There's not a huge proportion of my viewers actually subscribe so if you do want notifications for my videos i'd recommend checking after clarifying the rules we are allowed to use the higher level troops i've opted for the baby dragon i'm pretty confident that is what matthew will be doing as well because i have interviewed town hall twos in the past and they've all said use the baby dragon so it looks like he's just luring it out to the side yes there is his attacking baby dragon and actually i quite like that he's using a couple of archers but only a few of them to tank so that his baby dragon was not attacked. Now, my base design is all set up to defend the archer tower, but he's very wisely sent in that giant to tank for the baby dragon, which, to be honest, it is not even getting touched. That is a maxed archer tower at Town Hall. That's it. My base is done. It's all about time right now. Notice that he spread the archers onto the cannon. Ooh, maybe he could have used them up to the top of the base to clean up that area. He lost some of the archers there, but I guess since the baby dragon was moving up to that right-hand side of the base, probably was best for him to use the archers to the left. He's already had a minute gone, and the three-star is all but confirmed right now, so I need to match the three-star. That's my main aim. I'm not expecting to beat Matthew, but I'd like to give him a good run and make sure that we at least are in contention at winning this. GG on the three-star. Now I need to get ready. So he three-starred with one minute 39 left. Oh my word, what is this? Is it not lureable? It must be. He's got the defenses very nicely placed. Look at this. I can't use an archer or the giant anyway. If I deploy my giant to the left, maybe I can lure it and it should go up towards the archer tower, or at least that's the hope. Look at Matthew giving us advice before I even attack. What a legend. Okay, let's get this. Oh, I need to edit my army. <laughs> Imagine I attacked with just the baby dragon whilst I probably could have got the three star or maybe not because of his defending baby dragon. But anyway, we need to focus here. It's all about time as well. So let's use that giant and let's lure his defending clan castle. Now, I know he said there's holes in the base, but I want to see whether I can crack this. So yes, the giant has lured the defending baby dragon. Now, I need to pull it to the archer tower, I think, in order to then attack with my baby dragon and have my baby dragon move to the archer tower. So let's use one archer. Try and just pull it up here. I guess I'm going to use a giant to tank because my archer went down super fast there and he has a wide spread out base. So we need those archers to try and take it down. Okay, Ooh, baby dragon has survived. It's on the archer tower. Nothing can stop us now. There's no air traps, anything. So let's get the archers around the base Try not to get picked off by those cannons. Oh, man. Oh, my baby dragon's going to take forever to get through the base. We're already nearly at a minute. Let's just get those archers in. Come on. Oh, I think we've got the three stars, but I'm not sure we can win. We've got one archer, one archer to strategically place into the base when the cannon is tanked. Just make sure there's no build-outs, actually. That would have definitely caught me off guard. And we've got 10 seconds. We got 40% to get in 10 seconds. Oh, the cannon's picking off my archers. 
<laughs> I will be honest, I am pretty happy at how I was able to get this one done. I wasn't sure what to expect because honestly, Town Hall 2, without the Clan Castle troops, it is an extremely difficult level. But I'm glad I didn't show myself up. GG to Matthew. I'm even more excited for the 1 versus 5 Town Hall 2 Clan War. But if you want to see the world record for a Town Hall 2, they hit Masters League. I covered the entire story. It is linked on your screen with the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.